Hey, 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 I'm Al Cavadlo, and you're watching Ask Al. Today's first question comes from a Twitter follower named Onanos, who writes, Hi Al, can you give some advice about neck training? Good question. The neck is definitely an area that can be made stronger with strength training. But before you worry about that, make sure you've got a solid foundation on push-ups, pull-ups, and squats. You don't really need to concern yourself with isolating the neck until you're already at the intermediate level. Now having said that, the headstand is one of my favorite exercises to get started with to make the neck stronger. It's also great for circulation and it's also a good core exercise. When you're starting out with the headstand, use your arms as much as you need so your neck doesn't have to do all the work. 10 seconds might be enough in the beginning and over time you'll build to longer and longer holds. Neck bridges are also a great exercise for your neck. And again, you can start out by using your hands to help support your neck. And over time, as you'll see in this video over here, you can eventually take your hands away and do a full neck bridge with your body weight. Next question comes from a YouTube user named Jeff Miller who writes, Hi Al, I've really enjoyed your videos and your website. A question, how long do you recommend resting between sets? Or should I base it on how much my heart rate and breathing slows down before I hit the bar or the floor again? Thanks. Good question, Jeff. There's not one answer that's going to be right for everybody, though. If strength is your main priority, you want to have nice long breaks, like you said, so your heart rate can recover, so you can catch your breath, and so your muscles can recover. If endurance is your priority, however, you want to keep your rest relatively short. So if you're going for strength, break as long as you need. If you're going for endurance, keep those breaks short. Last question for today comes from a Twitter user named Caleb Cart, who writes, Hey Al, what else can I do for my arms besides push-ups, chins, and pull-ups to help them grow? Thanks. Hey, what's up, Caleb? Those are all great exercises that you listed, but there is one other one that you should definitely add into your routine. Dips. In addition to that, make sure you're getting enough food and enough sleep and rest and recovery in order to stimulate growth in your muscles. And beyond that, be patient and keep training hard. That's all the time I've got for today. Keep leaving me questions and comments for future Ask Owls, and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on the next episode. Till then, I'm Al Cavadlo, and we're working out.